Our next film is called From Beyond, and it caught me by surprise because I'm the guy who was bored silly by the monsters in Aliens. But I laughed and sort of marveled at the creatures in From Beyond, which probably cost about a tenth as much to make. The story is that old reliable, a mad doctor who wants to push the boundaries of knowledge. In this case, discover a telepathic sixth sense. To do it, he develops a machine that works on the pineal gland. His experiment allows you to see normally invisible objects as well as experience all manner of sensual pleasure. But naturally, as his young assistant finds out, the doctor's machine is too powerful. <laughs> Aren't they always? Turn it off. Edward, shut it off. Never. Can't you feel it? Robert, in the mind. The mind. It's out of control. You've got to turn it off. No. No. No, I want to see more. More than any man has ever seen. Edward, it's running itself! Later, another scientist, a pretty young woman, also becomes interested in the mad doctor's machine, and against the assistant's best advice, she rushes to plug it in again. <laughs> Do you realize now what I was creating? The key to a new realm of sensation. Edward, my God, what have you become? Ah, yes, the price you have to pay for knowledge. From Beyond has a lot of what many people might find to be gross scenes in it. I find it to be sort of <laughs> gross, too. I mean, sucking out of eyeballs, again, being swallowed by monsters, and then wiggly little worms, that's those, the enlarged pineal glands, popping through people's skulls. I like the way they just sort of float around like that. And some unnecessary <laughs> kinky sex. And yet I found <laughs> well, the movie... Well, well, what can be unnecessary about kinky sex in a movie that you've already described with slimy monsters eating people and little worms well, sticking it's just out of your... Well, it's just taking it into a new territory. Oh, we territory. don't want it to go too far. Well, right? Not too far. Okay. Not too far. Actually, this movie is great fun. You can already tell he's laughing at it. I found the movie to be so cleanly told by director Stuart Gordon and so forcefully acted in that last scene by Barbara Crampton and Jeffrey Combs, as well as also earlier Ted Sorrell as Dr. Pretorius, the guy who wants to know more than any man in the world, that I enjoyed this little horror film more than Aliens. It didn't gross me out. It didn't bore me. It tickled me. I think this is a really good little picture. I Well, it has some uh, qualities to it. I like Stuart Gordon's last movie, The Reanimator, yep. a lot better than this one, and I'm not giving this one a thumbs up, although it's marginal. And it does, you're right, have a lot of humor in it and a lot of spirit and some really gory monsters. So what's I, bad? What's bad? It didn't have the insane tension of the reanimator which led you from beginning to end with that kind of obsession that this movie doesn't have and you're right it digresses uh, the scene where she puts on the leather for example exactly. now, why is that scene in there I'll tell you why because Stuart Gordon probably said when was the last time you saw a woman dressed in leather who was swallowed by a slime worm from outer space okay. not often so that's okay. probably why but I think it's a close call it's certainly not better than aliens uh, well, uh, and that, I think Aliens just was unrelenting I think this film has a sense of humor about itself mm -hmm. that is great fun and I think it is forcefully told, because okay. I sat there and I didn't find too many scenes except with that one scene which you now agree with is unnecessary, mm -hmm. Kinky said, because that one scene was the only glitch in the whole film. And when a movie can drive me straight through like that, even if it's about silly subjects like those slimy creatures, I like it. I will go this far with you. I will suggest that Stuart Gordon has a future as a really good director in this genre. Maybe he can make other kinds of pictures too, we don't yeah. know yet. And that this picture shows a lot of promise, not as good as this first one. Is that doesn't doesn't make you happy, okay.